Hello, check a view, and as you can see, I have built a uh, bus control, and um, I'm gonna call it the Kana bus, of course. <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, something I wanted to try out uh, a while now, and uh, well, basically ever since I, I started uh, quite quite early um, to make like a bass guitar out of it, and uh, actually not a bass player. Or I haven't been. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, I, I've heard quite quite early from a friend that he uh, said, uh, "Yeah, why not uh, make a bass guitar?" And he said, uh, "Bass players are like more open-minded and uh, kind of uh, don't don't uh, kind of look at the brands or something." And yeah, I think um, he might be true. And uh, yeah, also uh, I, I really like the idea to have like a bass and uh, it's a very cool instrument and uh, yeah, I've uh, started playing it uh, for like a week now and yeah, I can't, can't stop playing. I think it's a great, um, great like compromise um, for uh, an acoustic bass, bass guitar because um, normally um, if you would want to build like a um, acoustic bass, um, uh, you would need like a huge, huge body. So um, there are a couple of examples out there which have like uh, five times as much volume as like um, this guitar. Um, because uh, when you look like an, at a upright bass, um, they are quite huge compared to a guitar. And the reason for, for that, of course, is because of the resonance of the body. Um, you need like this, this huge cavity to, to kind of uh, have like the, the bass response. And so my main, um, main uh, concern about this uh, was if I would get like a nice bass response. And uh, <laughs> we'll see about that. And uh, I've, I've gotten some, uh, got some strategies to kind of um, yeah, help, help to fight against that. And so the, the, the main idea behind the space is um, that uh, if you play like an electric bass, it was like the main idea for the um, acoustic guitars as well. So when you come from like an uh, electric bass or guitar place, um, you really are used to have like um, the guitar to be nice and comfortable. And I think for, for bass players, um, even more than like guitar players, um, they just want to have like a good time and, and kind of uh, uh, lay back and, and, and play play music and um, that's what it's all about and um, as I've been as I've been uh, researching um, about the acoustic bass world, I've noticed that most of the acoustic basses are quite small, so they are actually most of them are, are like smaller than, than like a dreadnought guitar there or, or like a, a normal normal size guitar. And I think that's uh, yeah the reason because yeah bass players don't don't want to have like uh, this huge body and um, and they want to have like the nice and comfortable feel and of course with my um, three dimensional handstone bodies with this uh, back relief here um, yeah it, it feels like it feels like an, an electric to, to play you have like perfect access to the high frets and um, yeah, it's it's really nice, uh, comfortable to play, and uh, yeah, it's, that's the, the main idea. And um, another problem with the uh, bass, of course, is like the scale length. So scale length is quite quite large on a bass guitar. And what I was worrying about at the beginning is that the the uh, guitar would be much more like um, head heavy. And that's the reason why I'm um, also doing like the fan fret. So um, if you look at a lo lot of the uh, acoustic basses, they, they have like their bridge is like here. So it's like, it's not ideal to have like the bridge so, so far back because you want to have it at the center of the, of the um, uh, top. So that's uh, the most, most efficient um, point to be and to have like the best, best sound. And um, yeah, by tilting the bridge, I can basically make the neck shorter or kind of move it move it back up the at the base side and make it shorter on the uh, treble side and this this gives me like nice nice string tension 
um, all across the uh, fretboard. So you have like a nice, nice, you have comparably more spring tension at the base and a little less on the uh, treble side. And I think it's like uh, what you want to have. So you have can, can nice uh, slap the bass and, and play like uh, your, your solo part on the uh, treble really, really easily. And also I really like the uh, fan fret headstock design. And yeah, it went with like uh, four tuners. And there might be room for like five tuners, but um, might have to change a little bit the headstock design. But yeah, I really, really like the fan fret look and kind of made, made like new dub blades for, for all of that. And yeah, another, another feature of this bass is uh, what I've seen on, on other acoustic bass. Like, like I think Furch has, has something like that. They have like this extension. And uh, when you look at bass players, when the, when you play the uh, low E string, you need something for your thumb to rest on, kind of to, to when you play the high, high strings, you kind of rest it on the uh, bass string, but um, yeah, you need this thumb rest. And um, I just taken the uh, fretboard and extended it a little bit. And also uh, maybe you can see I've extended like the neck also. So it's, it's quite, quite thick right up to here, until here. And um, it's, it's like super stable. It might look a little, little bit flimsy, but um, yeah, it's, it's really sturdy and um, nice and flexible down here. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna play something for you. And as I said, I've been playing for like uh, a solid week now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I still need to practice a little bit. I got uh, somebody actually tomorrow to, to visit me and uh, he's interested in this uh, bass and uh, he offered me to kind of make a little bit of video and um, he's gonna play it so <laughs> look uh, look forward for that so uh, it's gonna be much much better than me but um, yeah I know some basic riffs now and uh, want to kind of um, show you um, how it sounds. <laughs> So that's how it sounds, and I think it's 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 not a bad. So um, when I went into it, uh, I actually I've I've never <laughs> I've never played an acoustic bass before myself, so uh, I really didn't know what to expect. And I heard from people that uh, it's it's like really really hard to to make an acoustic bass like sound loud enough and kind of uh, responsive enough. And I thought, uh, yeah. Uh, couldn't be that hard to to make like bass that's that's really sounds acoustically well because um, the way I'm I'm kind of constructing my my guitars uh, it's it's really um, uh, meant to kind of uh, make like a really nice uh, like a loud loud and responsive and uh, have like a nice attack and everything and like as you know my my tops are quite quite thin like the double top is super super light and um, yeah, I think um, it, it makes for, for a sufficiently loud, loud bass. So when you when you kind of slap it, it's, it's quite, quite loud and uh, it's almost uh, or even louder than, than a regular guitar. And so it's, um, 
yeah, I'm kind of posit positively uh, surprised, and um, I also think like the the bass. It's it's like not a bad. It kind of shifts into like the the overtones uh, quite quickly, but at the beginning you get like um, quite quite nice bass out of it, and so I think like the trebles are quite quite nice. So um, they have like really really nice overtones and um, sound quite quite soft and sweet. But I also have the option, of course, to um, to um, plug it in, and um, I'm going to try that now. I'm going to show you uh, maybe the uh, sound of the plugged in version. So on my regular um, acoustic guitars, I um, normally um, like the standard pickup is a KNK Pure Mini and they have a bass version of it. So there are like two transducers that um, are glued to the back of the bridge and I think they make quite a natural sound. And So that's the uh, sound of the amp, and <clears throat> uh, as I said, it's it's quite quite natural. You can kind of trick a little bit, and yeah, it uh, works works quite well. Um, there's still like a little bit of a feedback issue um, if you have it too loud and too close together, and uh, you really uh, can't can't fight it that much because um, if if you have like this. Um, loose and um, responsive top, it's going to pick up the, the sound of, of the amp and, and kind of creates a feedback loop. Um, that's that's like the, the main problem. Either you have like a guitar that doesn't sound very well acoustically and then it's it's no feedback problem or it sounds good acoustically and you're going to have some feedback problems. Um, probably um, if I would use like a undersaddle strip like a piazza style, uh, I think it would be a little bit less. But still, um, yeah, it's it's really hard hard to 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 not have it. Yeah, so that's that's the uh, that's the cannabis, and uh, I hope you uh, like it as much as I do. So I can't can't stop playing it. Um, it's really really fun. I haven't played any guitar um, ever since I got this, and um, I really love to uh, build more of these. And yeah, looking forward to to kind of your opinions, uh, how you like it. Um, maybe your guitar player knows some bass players uh, who might be interested uh, in such a thing. And um, yeah, I kind of want to uh, maybe get some electric bass players to say, hey, that's really nice. Uh, looks like really comfortable. And uh, for those who wanted to try out an acoustic bass, uh, but didn't really want it to kind of, um, well, who, who who didn't really uh, like the idea of, of like a, a acoustic bass uh, play style because they are so huge and uh, uncomfortable. All right, so uh, it's gonna be it for today. Um, thanks for watching and uh, look forward for the um, actual actual uh, demonstration. Um, hopefully we gonna get some recordings on tomorrow. So uh, looking forward to that and yeah, until then. I'll see you next time.